My name is Gwala Wandebaki. I am an aspiring chef, an old boy of King's College and a present student of the University of Lagos. I'm actually in my final year. I have always loved to cook. Always. I, I can, I, ever since I can remember, I've always loved to cook. I've cooked over 200 meals since I started gaining the consciousness of cooking. Um, I currently run Gates Grill just to build the experience and the rapport of cooking and having a feel of food. I've, I've, I run Gates Grill, I cater for small engagements, and um, I'm looking for an institution to, to further myself, to, to gain the experience and the knowledge. And I know that I will get it at your place. Um, for me, I can say Bolabo passion solves it all. The winner of the Kitchen Nigeria Season 2 is Chef Gibbs! Hi, my name is Golobo Gibbs Adebaki, Chef Gibbs, and the General Manager at Sabo Lagos. Wave was 2013, so significant years would be from 20, 2009. 2008-2009 to 2013. Um, I mentioned 2008 because that's when I was in secondary school, right? Finishing secondary school. And um, I knew that I wanted to go into food. But I didn't fully understand how, what I would look like. But someone made like a very significant statement to me saying that I would be a chef. I'm like, hmm, I'll be a chef. What does that mean? What do I need to do to be a chef? So I started watching like Food Network and just started studying stuff. Then um, after secondary school, um, my, in 2009, I, I was very active in church, right? And so we were going to like a beach party. Uh, and um, this normal Easter camp out, all these activities that teenagers used to do back in the day. And we were supposed to like plan the food on what we're going to do, and they're like, ah, we give give back to cook. But you know, what are you going to cook for us? And I'm like, okay, let me go and check. And then, and back then, Shama was like the big, big thing. This is when Shama just started popping. And I'm like, okay, I'll make I'll do chicken Shama. So I just studied it up, looked it up, and I made it, and they're like, wow, 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 so good, best, blah, blah, blah. Then I started getting more cooking engagements from that space. My um, auntie was a friend to me, son, said, oh, there's this program, WAVE, and I think you should do it. It's, it's a short program, while the strike is on. I applied, made the payment, um, did the interview, and then it started becoming more, becoming clearer and clearer, and it looked exciting. Uh, but then, and I had to start waking up very early in the morning to go for the program. And I'm like, yeah, 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 yikes. The first day I woke up, of course, I went early. I even baked the cake the first day. Everybody was like, ah, oh, this person initiative, 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 <laughs> <laughs> proactive, proactive, proactive. <laughs> but I went late a few, a few times and I asked a question one time in class. And I said, um, how, how does someone just get up and go to work because I'd actually never had work experience. Yes, I'd been running that business like I mentioned earlier, but I'd never been employed by anybody. I'd never done any internships, any of those things. I wish I had. I wanted to. I asked for those things in the past, but I guess I didn't get to do that. So I didn't understand the concept of employment. And um, now they're teaching us all these things about employment and they're all like very new to me. And so I'm like, how do you wake up and just go to work and start working and like what does that mean and so wave was kind of like that experience because you had to wake up and go to class and start to do all these things that they are teaching you in class and so it was, it was difficult in the beginning because i had to adjust to a life that i wasn't used to so it was definitely difficult in the beginning but um i got used to it I got, used to, I, I got used to it, I appreciated it because some of the programs that we did, some of the people that we spoke to, some of the um, um, the facilitators that came in, some of the guest facilitators that came in, these were people that they were sharing things that I had only been reading or watching on TV and I'm like, oh wow, 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 so this is this person, like some some people even came in as entrepreneurs into Nigeria from, from out of the country to do like to start up projects. 
And I'm like, wow, so this person thought about this, wants to do this. Ah, these are the kind of things that I have thought about as well, that I want to do. It was, was, was a wonderful experience. I think one of my most memorable experience was when Chef Iyai came to speak to us. So um, I think this was probably one of the first chefs that I interacted with. And hearing him speak was definitely very inspiring. And it sort of made it so in in 2009, when someone said I will be a chef, when someone spoke to myself, I will be a chef. I had never heard the word chef before, right? I was doing everything that I was doing out of pure talent and just in it ability. And so these were things that just made sense to me, even though I did not understand the definition. So now seeing this man in 2013 saying all these things and it's clicking. So it's almost like I see where have we been in my life. Like all the questions I've had, all the answers that I've given, all the things that I've done, all the experiments that I've done, all the test things that I've been doing in my own kitchen. Somebody is doing it as a job. And so we, we clicked and he would probably go on to be the first person that offered me a job. So the most important skill I learned at the wave, um, I had to do to negotiation. And it pops, it pops right in my head once the, once the question is asked, anywhere, anytime. And I think it's, it's, it stands out because it's something that's lacking now in, in modern day hospitality. Because people think negotiation is when you want to bargain, you want to buy something. But interaction on a daily basis is negotiation. Because you have a will, I have a will, that clashing. How do we meet? How do we share the pie? <laughs> a waiter is serving a table. How do we share the pie? So a lot of people don't understand that. And for me, hearing that being taught in class was so profound using the pie analogy, using the iceberg analogy, like, I'm like, wow, makes so much sense. There's a lot of hidden that we do not see. All we see is that just that small tip on the surface of the water. But if we spend a little time, we get to understand the entire reason. And, and with negotiation, a lot of conflict will be, will be, will be, will be prevented, will be solved. And so, I'm still learning negotiation, that's the beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. We're learning it on a daily basis because you're getting to understand the depth and depth and depth to the intents of people's minds, intentions. So definitely that was something that if I have to even go back to ways to learn negotiation again, I'll go back. I'll go back and keep going back because you keep meeting tough, tough people every day. So negotiation definitely. So, after our final, like final um, the program, I think it maybe coincided with uh, the job offer that came. But we were told that we're going to, so I think we were supposed to finish like maybe a Friday or something. Um, this interview was on Saturday. And um, the, the cafe was just beside the training, the training um, school, the first, the first Cafe New, before Cafe New expanded to become many, many things. Mm -hmm. So Cafe New had just brought in like this um, barista from Rwanda. Mm -hmm. They just finalized like their Rwanda partnership. And they brought in this barista from Rwanda to come train some Nigerians to run their business. I didn't even know when the interview started because we were just in, like in a circle, we were just talking. The owners were not, it was like a cocktail meeting and everybody was just like, just in, just in, just in, just in, just in, just in, just in. Obviously, they were asking questions, they were speaking to us. And right there and there, we said, okay, called us aside. And I hope he's like, you. Ah, okay. But then <laughs> she now called me aside and said, but there is a standing offer as a sous chef with Chef AI, which is the chef that I mentioned before. I was like, oh, sous chef. <laughs> That's like a big opportunity, but Cafe New is offering you the job of a barista in training. And you be a barista in training, you would also be like a waiter. Yeah, so I'm a human, right? And so 
you, you, you start to want to compare these two things in terms of monetary value, but also in terms of society value. What do people say is bigger? But then, I, 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 I obviously sought advice from a few people, Mubala being one of them, Nissan being one of them, and um, I, um, I saw Cafe Neo as an opportunity to learn a new skill because I already knew how to cook in a sense, right? Because I was already running a business, I've been cooking for a bit. But I've never heard of anything called coffee barista. I've never been a barista. I've seen it in television. I've seen um, um, people make coffee and work in coffee shops. I'm like, oh, what would that look like? So I accepted that job. Some employments that have been some of the best ones. Like I can mention Film House, one of my best, best work experience. Um, some of the key moments in my career, uh, I'll mention, um, so in 2020, 2018, I won the North East Quest Season 5 uh, competition organized by Unilever. Fast forward to 2023, I won the uh, Mastercard Kitchen Nigeria competition, season two, and I facilitated the Hilda Bassi Guinness World Record Cookathon. Um, and I, and there's something that I do even now that I that I take from Wave. I am I, I, I saw Wave I, rather I see Wave as a finishing school. You know when Wave started, Wave was was training unemployed youth for the Nigerian economy, but that's not what WAVE is doing anymore. WAVE is training people to be employable because when you finish university, when you finish whatever program you've done, a tertiary institution, you're still not employable because a lot of first class people come into the market space and they blow up. <laughs> they do exams and they are failing. So it's, at that moment, it's not just your attitude or your intellectual. It's a lot at play that you're not even equipped for. So you need programs like Wave to equip you. So that's one thing that I know Wave did for me. It packaged me for the market space. Because the level of confidence that I had was what my passion and drive and fire needed mm. to run. Mm. Wave is 10. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Like I said, it makes me feel like an old man. <laughs> um, you know, when when I do some of the projects that we do or we organize some events and a lot of the younger guys in the industry uh, come, yeah, Chef Kim, Chef Kim, Chef Kim, tell us about yourself. Blah, 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 blah. The moment I just mentioned with some of them that I've gone to with a few of them, be like, you did wave too? They now start to make it seem like, oh, they, that means they did something really big. <laughs> I'm like, of course, wave is, is a good program now. Um, because they think that maybe I'll be shy to say I did wave. Of course not. Like I said, you know, in the beginning, it seemed like wave was training, um, unemployed. But no, wave was packaging people for the employment space. <laughs> Trainings are very transferable. And it started from somewhere. This knowledge didn't just emanate in you. You got it from somewhere, and for me, I got from Wave. And yes, I built on so many things, but there's always a foundation. So Wave is ten. I say congratulations first of all, and I will say thank God that we're even saying ten, meaning that Wave hasn't stopped. So please don't stop. Continue in whatever capacity, in whatever number, in whatever space. Please don't stop. The goal is very big, and the goal is very real. Take over Nigeria, all 36 states, go to Africa, go everywhere. Let them know that there's so much talent in Africa. We need we need something like that. Mm -hmm. So that is my wish for WAVE. That WAVE stands at, as that focal point for, for standardization of this our industry. Mm -hmm. So well done WAVE, congratulations and more, more matches. Happy 10th year anniversary WAVE. Thank you for creating impact and transforming lives.